one of the coolest things about the web is not only all the content you can put out there for people to see, but the fact that you can link all of these pages together. So that's my goal with this lesson, to start to link content together. Because on this page is where I want to create these links to these other websites. And uh, to be a little bit more specific, what I want to do is I actually want to link out, in one case, to this site here, just on Wikipedia Tuscany. So I'm just going to select this URL and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to copy that URL or that web address. All right, now I will go into Dreamweaver and with this page open, and again, if it's not open, just double click index HTML in your files panel. What I want to do is I want to link out this word Tuscan to that website, uh, that Wikipedia page. So with that word selected, I'm going to go to my Insert Panel. And right up here at the top, notice how it currently says Layout. Well, I'm actually going to change this from Layout to Common. So I'm going to select Common, and here are all the common items that I can go ahead and take advantage of. So select Common, and then just click, again, with that word selected, click Hyperlink, and then you're given this dialog box. So from here, the word, of course, is Tuscan. The link that I'm going to link to is, again, going to be that, uh, that URL that I already have copied. Uh, but what I can also do is even browse to anything. But in this case, I'm just going to do a Command-V or Control-V if you're on a PC. I'm going to basically paste in that URL. Uh, next up is this target. So this tells me sort of what browser window to target. If I don't put anything in here, what will happen is that new page will uh, take the place of the current page I'm on. And anytime I'm linking out to another website, what I want to do is I want to link it out into a new browser window. Okay, so that's what I have selected. And I can give it a title, but that's all I'm going to worry about right now is just make sure my link is in there. The target's going to be a new window. I'll click OK. Sure enough, it says Tuscan right there. It gives it an underline, and it's ready to go. Okay, and if you ever want to change a link, if you just select that same word right down in the Properties panel under Link, you can see that there's the link. So again, that's, that's set up. And uh, before I actually test that out, what I want to do is I want to link out one other thing. In this case, Chef Paolo. So Chef Paolo, right here, I'm going to select those two words. I'm going to go ahead and have those two words link out to an email address. So it's a similar process. So just select those two words, go over to Email Link. I'll click on that in the Insert panel. Click on that, and right in here, this, of course, is where you'd type in the email address. So, hello at Paolo at restaurantepaoloboletti.com. So that's what I want to have for my email link. I'll just click OK. Sure enough, it looks exactly the same. In this case, it links out to an email address. So if I look down here in the Properties panel, it does say Mail to, you know, send an email to this address. All right, let's, let's test this out now, because obviously I can't click on these words in Dreamweaver. So what I need to do is I need to go to File, and I want to preview this in a browser. So go to File, Preview in Browser, and in this case, I'm going to select Safari. Now, it doesn't matter what browser you have on your computer. Just select whichever one is listed in here. It could be Internet Explorer, maybe, if you're on a PC. Uh, once I select that, I also get this warning as well. It says, hey, you know what? If you really want to test it out, you're going to have to save the page. So I'll click Save. It opens up Safari in this case. If I click on Tuscan, it jumps out to that page. All right, so sure enough, it opens up in a new window. That's exactly what I want. It's looking great. I'll close that browser window. And notice it did change colors, OK? So it just changes to these sort of default colors that it's currently using, and I can modify that later. And again, in this case, I'm going to click on this. It's an email link. And what it does is it opens up your default email client. In this case, for me, it opens up Microsoft Entourage for the Mac. 
So as you can see, it makes this page much more valuable, linking out to other content that is important to this specific page. But obviously, it still needs some work on the design side. So that's what the next lesson is all about, is where we actually get to dive in and start to stylize this page.